Finding the circumference of a circle. Circumference of a circle is really just a special name for the perimeter of a circle. There's a formula that we can use to find that circumference. That formula is C equals 2 times pi r. Pi is generally considered to be about 3.14. That's our pi. That's usually what we'll use. That's an approximation because pi is a uh, irrational number so it uh, has all kinds of decimals but we generally round it to just 3.14. So in this circle we're given the radius. Remember the radius is half the distance across the circle. It's from the center to the outside edge. This radius is 5 centimeters. So we're going to take that 5, we're going to put it into our formula. So this circle we have C equals 2 times pi, pi is 3.14, times the radius, which is 5. We'll grab our calculator and we'll figure that out here. We have 2 times 3.14 times 5 which gives us 31.4 okay and when we're talking about the circumference of a circle our label circumference is just a distance so our label will just be that same label centimeters so the circumference of this circle given a radius of 5 centimeters is 31.4 Four centimeters. Let's take a look at this one. In this one we're given something different. We're given the distance all the way across the circle. 10 feet. Well, you know, 10 feet, that's going to be the same as that other problem. So let's change that. Let's make this, how about, uh, let's make it 15 feet. Okay. So this distance across the circle is 15 feet. Well, our formula uses the radius, and the radius is half of the distance across the circle, which is the, the diameter. We're given the diameter, find the radius, we want to take half of that. The radius of this circle would be 7.5 feet, 15 divided by 2. We can also Let's, let's take that then. We'll put that in for into our formula. And we get C equals 2 times pi. That's always the same. Then we multiply by that radius, 7.5. And we get, let's grab our calculator. 2 times 3, oh yikes, 2 times 3.14 times 7.5 equals 47.1 inches, or excuse me, feet. Okay, so here we had the diameter and we took it in half to find the radius put that into our formula and we found our circumference. Again, circumference is labeled with just the label that we're given because it's just a distance. It's the perimeter of a circle. All right, this one down here, I just ruined it in my previous problem, but we'll take a look at it anyway. We're given the circumference rather than being given the radius. We're asked to find the radius and to do that, we're gonna put in to the formula what we know. We know the circumference is 47.1. We know we still have the 2, we still have pi which is 3.14, and then we have our radius which in this case is x. We're going to do a little solving here. First thing we need to do is simplify this part by multiplying that. So 47.1 equals 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 x. Now, to get that x all by itself, we need to get rid of the 6.28. To do so, we're going to go ahead and divide by 6.28 on both sides. So I'm going to just go down here and do that. 
47.1 divided by 6.28 and I'm just going to rewrite this over here dividing by 6.28 on both sides when we do that divide by 6.28 we get 7.5 so that means X must be 7.5 and don't forget your label. We had inches, so this is 7.5 inches. Finding the circumference of a circle, we use this formula right here, C equals 2 pi r. Remember, pi is about 3.14. That's generally what we use. Then you to find your radius. If you're given the diameter, cut it in half. That's your radius. And go ahead, fill it in, and you get your circumference.